Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your girl, Mitzi, and this is Mitzi, and let's think about it. Today, we are thinking about being married to the military, and that is something to really think about to so anybody who is possibly dating somebody who's in the military or has just got engaged, or you are married in with somebody who's actually in the military, you know? So lucky like for me, I have a special guest, Jenna, who's going to provide me her perspective and her outlook on this situation since she was formerly married to somebody in the military. And she's married now to somebody that works for the government as a first responder. So she has a very keen eye into this topic. So thank you so much, Jenna, for coming on to the show. How are you? Yes. Thank you, Mitzi. I'm doing great. I'm excited. Awesome. Awesome. So I guess the biggest one is why share this light in with other women about how to handle themselves when you're married to somebody who has such a big role in society? The biggest reason for me is allowing women to be seen and to feel heard because it can be really easy to dissolve into your husband's career, especially when neither of you have any control over the scheduling, where he is at the time, what you have on your calendar. It doesn't even matter, right? When they need to go, they need to go. And there can be a lot of emotional uh, roller coasters going through something like that. And I especially felt called to it once my husband became a first responder and I knew I was entering into this world again, just in a different way. I felt very passionate to help other women who are going through the exact same thing. Yeah, I believe, I, I believe that is true because I think as a woman, that the, what you said is that you kind of get lost in your husband's life because they're kind of the first ones before we are, you know, and it's kind of mm -hmm. sad that sometimes women are just pushed to the side as not as important as what the man does. Even if there's a woman doing the same thing as a man, unfortunately, they don't get the same recognition as the man does. So it's nice to know that you're speaking out to the to women because let's be honest, labels, oh, these labels, they can really tie you in. And how did you personally escape from being bounded by these labels of just being a wife or just being a mom? I don't know if you're a mom, but you know, just these labels, like how do you how do you break out of them? Well, it definitely takes a lot of courage and for me, I just was at my wits end. Like I'm sure many women who are listening to this right now, I really felt like I woke up one day, I was 28 years old. I had two small children and I just thought, this is not what I thought my life was going to be like. This is not what I had planned for my life. And over the course of a 10 year you know, marriage in the army, I kept hearing things like, well, you signed up for this. Well, you knew what you were getting yourself into. And I thought, no, I didn't. I was marrying someone that I fell in love with. That's what I was signing up for. And that's what I was getting myself into. And as you get deeper into that community, there's this unspoken expectation that you as the spouse are to also do as you're told, stand next to your service member, because what they're doing is way more important than anything you could be doing back home and to not complain about it. And especially with other wives in the community, they're going through the exact same things, but it's almost like you all just kind of keep quiet because if you say anything, right, then maybe you don't support your husband or you don't support what the, they're doing for our country and the heroes that they are, and they are mm. heroes. There's just a lack of support for the spouses and the families that are left behind at home to think. They can just, you know, stand back and wait because that's our role. Right. And for yeah. me, like I said, I just got to where it wasn't enough for me. And I thought I can do something too, and I can create something for myself. And at least in my experience, a lot of the wives, you know, that's why they get into these multi-level marketing companies because they can start their own business. I did. I mean, I did that and thought, yeah, I have my own business and I was really successful in that, but it still wasn't very fulfilling for me mm -hmm. because it wasn't completely what I was passionate about doing. 
And I was never really taught you can do both. You can support your service member. You can support your family, take care of the home and still do something for yourself. And it's not selfish. Good. So I guess my next question is, because I love the fact that you said it's not selfish, but one of the biggest arguments that I hear over and over again is knocking the man's pride. So what is your opinions on that? Because a man, when he's out in service and when he's out working, like like you kind of said, you kind of this the, us as women, we're expected to have a certain role and just to raise our children, so to be waiting hand and feet for our, for our, for our men. But what does that mean to you when it comes to knocking your man's pride? A strong man will not have his pride knocked down. Is my short answer. Like our that. men, especially our men in military, they have so much healing to do and they don't even know or feel like they could have that healing. And so there's this, the hierarchy of the military can be really confusing for them, right? So they mm -hmm. need to be the head of the household and the wife, you know, is submissive to me. And biblically, that's even talked about, right? The wives are yeah. to submit, be submissive to their husbands. The difference is you're also supposed to work together as a team and mm -hmm. a man who is confident in himself doesn't even have pride. They are excited to grow together as a unit. And a lot of these men aren't taught that. And I am a mother and I have three boys. And I know that that is my priority is to teach them how to be a husband and a father because they're going to have to be dealing with this one day as well. And in my experience, I, that's exactly what happened when I started rising into who I knew I was created to be, and I got stronger and I was more vocal about doing things for me. It actually ended my 10 year marriage to my soldier at that time. And that was really hard for me, but I was so confident and so just sure that that's what I was meant to be doing. And I could not make him want to rise with me. Yeah. Let's be honest. We can't force somebody to look in a certain direction if they choose to keep their eyes closed, you know? And I think the fact that you stated that a, a strong man does not have pride, that is such a strong statement because there are so many men out there, including my own, and it drives me bonkers, but um, that feels like that's all they have. And it's not. I mean, you are so much more than your pride. You're letting one label determine how you see life, how you act in life, how you move through life. And I think it comes down to a lot of women as well, because a lot of women, as soon as they gain their truth and they gain that, oh, that empowerment, they step into their pride now. And then they feel that they have to be prideful. And it's and it's not because it comes back to that statement, a strong person doesn't have pride. You know, you could change it around from a man to a woman, to a person, to an animal. I mean, whatever you want to claim to be, I just feel like if you are strong enough in who you are and know who you are, pride is not relevant. And I, and I, and I absolutely love that. I'm going to, I'm going to quote you on that because that is beautiful. I mean, people need to hear that and they need to understand that because the world is breaking apart by pride. You know, people feel like that's all that it is. But I guess to come back to topic, um, what are the pros and cons of just being married besides, you know, having that label? <laughs> well, I think it depends on what phase of life you're in, you know, because that was another thing for me was I was excited to be, I was really young. So I was 21 when I got married. And that, as you know, that's not uncommon in the military community and there's this excitement of this adulthood that we're going to rise into, right? And so I think there are different levels of feelings when you're going when you're married to someone who's in the military. So for me, it was it was a pride to use that word again. I was very honored to be married to someone that was selflessly serving for our military. And I was proud to stand next to him. I was happy to take care of the kids and take care of the family. But like I said, that's when I started to 
it started dissolving into that role and I lost myself completely. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's something that is a taboo and just being married and just having someone having such that feels that pride and then you don't you feel like you lose yourself because you you, you're supportive you're you're trying to be there you're trying to be the good person but all in reality it's like you're pushing yourself back and then you lose yourself and you're like where am I what am I what am I to do I can't just be a mother because one day my children will be grown and then I'm just me or God forbid my my husband dies or leaves me then it's just back to me and I think that's the thing is that a lot of humans, men and women, we tie ourselves and bound ourselves to the other person as long as they're doing better than what we think are, is for ourselves. And it's sad because mm-hmm. we end up belittle, belittling, if that's a, belittling, <laughs> belittling, <laughs> yeah, belittling um, ourselves and it's, and it's not, and it's not right. And I love how you said you finally realize like you had to find your passion even after was in a marketing business and you, and it was very successful because just that alone women can just focus on that and be like this is my new identity but you were like no something's missing so what made you explore into this direction of your passion well it was you know, I told you I got divorced and four years later I married my now husband, who is a first responder and equally does incredible things for the world. He's a 22 year air force veteran. So obviously I have a type. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when he, when we got married, he was actually a home builder. So he had retired from the military and he was building custom homes and he got this amazing opportunity to work for aerial recovery. And when he told me about it, I said, there's absolutely no way. No. I can't go back to that. I don't want to live that lifestyle again. I like having you home every single day. And I ended up sitting down with him and the owners of the company. And I really heard their hearts for what they were doing. So this organization also repurposes veterans to do or continue to do humanitarian work. And what I've experienced too with veterans, when they get out of the military, the wives are thinking, finally, I'm going to have a normal life. I'm going to see what normal feels like. And these men are getting out and feeling like they have no purpose anymore. They have all this training, all these tools under their belt, and they have to start over too. And so the wife is then taking care of the man again, just in a different way. And when we sat down with the owners and I really heard their hearts of repurposing the veterans, giving them a purpose and continuing their serving, I immediately said, we have to do something for the wives too, because I'm not going to be the only wife that's going to say, no, no, no. I want, it's my turn. And I've talked and met with women whose husbands have gotten out and they're like, it's my turn. I have paid my dues. I have done what I needed to do. I've raised the family and taken care of the house. And it's my turn to do what I want to do. And I just said, you can do that too you can. And that's where I coach women in is women in is finding their own purpose, living out that purpose, but doing it in partnership with their spouse. So that's what has helped me and my husband is he has purpose. Now he's with this organization that um, rehabilitates veterans, helps them find purpose, and then coaches them into entrepreneurship. And I'm able to help with the spouses and help them find their way too. And it really has created this amazing synergistic partnership between me and my husband and other veterans and their wives as well. That's good. I mean, let's be honest, that's that's a, a, a type of direction that a lot of women need and a lot of couples just need because you can easily put your husband into that position to find himself again, but then you're still not feeling that groundedness of that bond. You know, that's what women want. They want to have that bond with their husband. They want to feel like they're still connected. And as soon as you'd say, Oh, I'm going to go back to it. It's like, wait a minute. This is not what we do. This is not what I saw. I, what you said, like some of these women like, wait, it's my turn. Like that makes sense. I mean, come on to do it together is the goal to live life together is the goal and to have that unity and that 
in that walk in life with somebody that you love and you care with and you have same goals I mean that's that's the ultimate purpose you know and to 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 help other women and help them find that I mean oh my goodness I could only imagine the type of how many people you actually helped because more people need that more people need to realize like it's more than just relationship coaching you know it's more than just just therapy I mean it's more because when you have that purpose I mean everything else falls Mm -hmm. into place you know I truly believe that everything falls into place so I applaud you you know that's awesome that's an awesome thing to do and and to share out to the world I mean I guess to start wrapping up um (laughs) what would be some great great lasting advice that you can possibly give my audience to somebody who may be listening going through their going through something that's similar that's what you've been through because there are a lot of women out there who's married to the military or who's about to you know what would be some good advice that you can give them Yeah, well, I can say that there is a community, there is support for you. And there are, like you said, a lot of women who are going through it as well. And you need to lean on that community. And you need to know that there are people who are ready to listen and to guide you and to help you through this because it can be a super incredible experience. There's so much opportunity there, just even traveling, seeing the world, different duty stations, all the different types of people that you're going to meet. And I do offer a community on Facebook called Service and Soul, and it is for military first responder wives. And we have virtual hangouts and we just rise together, grow together and lean on each other. And then I also have my book coming out later in November called Service and Soul. And it's a guidebook for military and first responder wives to find purpose and prosperity. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So I'm assuming that you're writing this book because you you just encountered so many other women that you're like, you know what, book. And then if you want it, you go ahead and buy it. Yes, exactly, exactly. Because we we do need to come together and we need to shake the taboo thought that we are in this by ourselves because we are not. Yeah, we are in this oh, together. I love that last video when you said we are we are not in this by ourselves and. I think we're just stuck with that frame of mind that we got to just do it alone and do it by ourselves. In reality, we don't. Reality, we don't. I mean, we go through so many things by ourselves, but there's so many people who've gone through the same thing. And it's like a wake up call to realize like, I'm not alone in this. I don't have to be alone in this. And that's where our pride comes in as women. Yes. Yes, that's that's where we find success is doing as much as possible, having the busiest schedule than anyone that we know and not needing to ask help for it. And it's yep. not prideful. It's not, there's no trophy for that. There's a dunce cap. For real. I mean, it, out. <laughs> for real, it's, out. it is a big burnout where it's like, by the end of the day, it's like, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't do another day. And that's not how we should live. And I love the fact that you have this Facebook group and you have this community because we need to realize that we need to be in community. We need to stand together. We need to bound ourselves with other like-minded individuals so that we can grow and prosper and and spread the word. And that's why I appreciate you coming on my show, Jenna, and sharing this because I think it's necessary. You know, it's necessary for people to really think about this in a different aspect, in a different light. And just ha- having somebody who's already has have the experience it really shifts people's perspective like you know what if Jenna could do it I can do it <laughs> absolutely. absolutely well awesome. thank you so much Mitzi I, I'm so, so happy to be here awesome I know me too and if anybody wants to know more about Jenna you can go on my website and have her lovely photo there and you can click on her website and you can reach out to her directly and find that Facebook group if you really need to find that community within without out of your own little community that you may be in because it's the technology has gone so advanced where you don't even have to be in the same state to talk to somebody and have friends and to socialize and and to realize, you know what, you don't have to be surrounded by the toxicity that she may be around, you know, so reach out, check her out, you won't be disappointed, thank you again for coming on my show, that's it y'all, always, 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 bye!